Man, what's going on, folks? Man, it's your boy Money Mac coming back to you again from the set. But today, man, this is the podcast episode. This is what we're doing. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of random ass shit here on this podcast. And, you know, join in on the conversation. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and hit the comment section so we can continue these uh, back and forth banters that we have here in the comments um, on the set. So, without further ado, man, let's get at it bro oh the trophy room air jordan one low raffle went into effect today so um i think it's those them joints gonna be mad limited yo um i think it was an eql raffle or for those um so yeah of course i entered i did for the local pickup so hopefully you know by me being local I just swing through once I get that notification from EQL and say, hey, you good to go. I can go pick them joints up because uh, they 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 not going for a little bit of money right now um, on the pre-sale or, you know, the aftermarket or whatever. Um, it's yeah. Uh, those people who got early payers already, man, they asking for a nice pretty penny on them joints and uh I don't know if I really want to pay that much for them. Um, but yeah, man, that, that shoe is super clean, yo. And the crazy part about it is, bro, when I was younger in my foolery days, when I was a little kid, man, I had no idea what I had on my hands. So the the basketball card that this sneaker is based off of, bro, I had that card. And I'm stupid too. Cause I had that card and I traded it for wait for it. A Bo Jackson card. Now, at the time, Bo Jackson was that dude. I say when I say that dude, he was that dude, man. So yeah, it's probably one of the worst mistakes I ever made in my life. Now it was a Bo Jackson rookie card. And I still have it somewhere but it's nowhere near in the condition that I had that Jordan rookie card. Now, I do still have another couple Jordan rookie cards, but yeah, it, not that one. That Fleer card that this card, this shoe is based off of, bro. I'm so sick. But what can you do about it, bro? All you can do is keep it moving. And yeah, because I got a, I got a nice size um, uh car collection going there man so i ain't tripping but yeah still a little soggy about that that would have been dope if i was able to secure them joints and uh at the same time do a review on them with that card kind of like how what you know mark jordan did when he uh debuted those so but that was for the away pair uh the home pair is gonna be i think it's gonna be only for trophy room only and they're gonna do a local thing with those um so hopefully i can get one of these pairs odds are I probably won't but we're gonna try it anyway at least for that retail price bro 140 you can't beat it so i'm gonna go after them joints man just to do my due diligence but i ain't paying the aftermarket price i'm not doing that i like the shoe um actually i love the shoe it just ain't yeah you you any fan of the the set you know we don't do that um only on a select few pair of shoes that i absolutely have to have will i do something like that on a pair of shoes so um but yeah man that's that's the air jordan one low trophy room while we're on the topic of just things that piqued my interest over the last few days bruh what is going on with Kanye, bruh? Yeah. He is at it again. Um, he is really going after <laughs> YouTube. Not YouTube. He's going after Adidas. And, bruh, let me, let me see if I can pull this up, bruh. Because Ye is really on one. <laughs> like... He just sent out a basically a F you letter to everybody and said he gonna get back with us uh, with more F you's if he could think of more. So let me see. I can pull that joint up, bro. Cause this was crazy. 
<laughs> yeah. This is <laughs> number one for you. It's the people who won't be manipulated by the system and fuck Adidas and everybody else who works there. Anyone who goes to school, anyone whose parents work at Adidas. Bruh. <laughs> hey, Kanye is Kanye. And that's all I can say about that, bruh. Oh, man. He went off on Adidas. He went off on Drake. Oh, my goodness. That, bruh. Yeah, I pray for Kanye, bro. Um, y'all still buying his products? That's another question. Y'all still buying Kanye's products, bro? Even though they twenty dollars, I still can't bring it to buy. That's yeah. Number one, it ain't for me. I ain't gonna bash it. I'm just saying it. It just ain't for me. I'm not wearing no big baggy baggy. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I mean, I get it the whole artistic approach to designer clothing or whatever or can you even call it designer yeah i guess you can because he's a designer and he's making clothes so i guess you can call it designer wear but bro i'm just not with it not with it at all i can't see myself i don't care if it's ten dollars i ain't doing it bro i can go get me a little snack from arby's or something yeah i said arby's so what i like y'all too good to eat arby's not just playing. Um, but yeah, man, hell, you can't even get a combo these days for ten dollars. It just ain't a thing unless you go to Wendy's and get the four for four and get something that's gonna clog your arteries all the way to fuck up. But yeah, I I'm good, bro. I just can't I can't do it. I'm yeah. So let me know what y'all think, man, about Kanye and his rant again telling everybody oh bro he also said fuck the christians in there bro that bro i can't it's too much it's way too much bro and i think he needs to sit down somewhere for somebody find him yeah i ain't finna do that i'm not gonna even put that negativity out there in the universe but please protect kanye at all costs because he just yeah i think jay prince i already told you quit playing with drake bro so i might want to chill out um mob ties oh uh, but yeah man i just <laughs> this situation is weird to me it's i i just don't i don't i don't understand like bro you got the number one album right now you're back on your shit vultures was not for me let's be honest it just wasn't for me a lot of kanye albums post um 808 and heartbreak that yeah post that it they ain't been for me it's not there's a whole different crowd involved in that so yeah i'm still a kanye fan bro i reached back into college dropout graduation out bro classic kanye was you wouldn't be in that with nothing but i can't get down with the mood music uh yeah it's not for me not for my age group i guess maybe i won't understand i guess that's what kanye fans are saying so but oh uh, i let me know what y'all think about it, bro. It, I'm just at a loss for whatever when it comes to this whole situation because one minute he is ascending to where he used to be and the next minute he just blows it all up. And I get it. You're saying fuck the establishment. I don't, I don't know what that pressure feels like and I don't care to know what that pressure feels like when you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. But you asked for that. You really did. You asked for that. And now one false move and it's it's all gone so bro just chill just make music and clothes and keep it moving man we we like you we still you still one of us bro and I, i'm speaking for everybody. you still one of us so stop playing around bro before some happen to you and then we be mourning the all right i, I don't know well tiktok back in the news again bro and another threat for the House of Representatives that could pass a bill to get rid of TikTok. I, yeah, this is like the second time that they have threatened to kill TikTok if the Chinese folks don't relinquish their ownership. Now, when this happened before, Microsoft was the leading candidate to buy TikTok and, you know, use TikTok. They would be the owners of TikTok, right? <clears throat> would that change you, like, 
the all right so what it is with tiktok is over here right we all been on tiktok and it's full of a bunch of bullshit honestly it's just full of a bunch of crap now it's some good stuff buried inside of tiktok but again you have to fight through the algorithm to actually get to meaningful things on tiktok i know a lot of tiktok content creators and they offer good content right but for the most part it's just a bunch of brain rot on tiktok and uh, in tiktok in china is totally different like it's not all this hogwash that we get on tiktok that we just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling we it's not like that over there so i guess the government is making that claim that um it's a tool to gather data on us um to develop habits all that other crazy conspiracy theory type shit yeah in this day and age data is more worth more than actually gold honestly so they want the chinese company uh bite dance to actually relinquish ownership or sell it whatever in order for you know american-based company whatever like before when microsoft was about to buy it it got shut down why i don't know but that's where we're at with tiktok right now um <laughs> If this bill is passed on the 24th of March, then they would have 180 days to relinquish ownership or, or sell TikTok. Yeah, you got 180 days to sell TikTok. Do I think this is going to pass? I think so, just because they've been trying to do this for years. And I think now is the time where they have the leverage um, they have the votes and it's probably going to happen. Yeah. But are you guys content creators or content consumptions consumers of TikTok? Let me know down in the comments what you think about this whole TikTok situation. Because for me, it never was a focal point for me for things that I do on social media. Yeah, I scroll TikTok every once in a while, but I'm very specific on what I'm looking for when I'm on TikTok. I'm not a just, all right, get on the For You page and just scroll. No. Um, I'll go search. I'll post something and I'll run. Never was able to figure out the algorithm on TikTok. And I don't know if I really want to put the time in too, um, based on this information. Hell, TikTok may just go away, period boy what's that gonna do for youtube and facebook for their shorts and reels i don't know this is crazy though so i'd be interested to see what happens on the 24th when they pass this well when they could potentially pass this bill um to get rid of tiktok so stand by to stand by i know those are terrible words at this point but that's what we used to say all the time in the military. So hurry up and wait and stand by to stand by. Yep, Roger that. Got it. Well, speaking of TikTok and the influence that TikTok has over our everyday lives, bruh. TikTok has started another crazy trend where the Trader Joe's little tote is selling for hundreds online. This is crazy. So this little mini tote bag that's, you know, offered in Trader Joe's, it's a little canvas bag, bro. It costs $2.99, right? <laughs> but now let's see what the AV News says. Offers for the third party sellers range significantly, right? But as of Wednesday, listing range from $20 for a single bag as high as $999 for a set of four bags. Are you kidding me? For a tote, a Trader Joe's tote. Now, don't keep me wrong. Trader Joe's is dope. Yeah. And do, shit, I don't even know if we have. It's not one in my area. I'm about to go way out of my way to get to a Trader Joe's. But, bruh. A thousand dollars for four of those little mini canvas tote bags that has Trader Joe's branding on it. Bruh, I'm good. At first, it was the Stanley Cups. Not the hockey Stanley Cup you know what I'm talking about um we talking about some totes bruh some totes TikTok is crazy and and another thing bruh like last was it last month last month 
Now, me and my wife go to Disney every week. Well, not every week, every month, right? Sometimes twice a month. Um, because obviously we live in Florida and we annual pass holders, but we do this. That's our that's our date time. That's our whatever, right? So normally when we go to Magic Kingdom, we have a cheeseburger egg roll or a spring roll, egg roll, whichever one you want to call it, right? No must, no fuss. Get in line, boom. You get your little egg rolls. You get two for like seven dollars or whatever. Fucking fire. Like them shits is amazing, right? I guess it was a well kept secret to some damn TikTokers decided they wanna have that and put that shit on TikTok and it went viral, right? So the last time we was there at the Magic Kingdom, we went, got in line. Line long as shit. Never this long. It's dumb long. So we standing in line. We in line for maybe five minutes. And the little lady comes out. No more cheeseburger. No more cheeseburger. I'm like, for real? Are you kidding me? Now, we had just heard the little lady talk behind us saying, oh, oh, we we seen this on TikTok. We got to stop here and get this. Oh, it went viral. So that's probably why everybody's in line. You're damn right. That's why everybody's in line. Not to mention that they are freaking delicious. But it's crazy that that is what, yeah. That's the only reason why other than, you know, a couple of things at the Magic Kingdom that we go to eat when we go to Disney. And yeah, the fact that it went viral on TikTok and now they can't keep them shits in stock kind of pissed me off a little bit. So thanks, TikTok. Thank you much. Now I can't have my cheeseburger spring roll like I normally do. The only reason why you go to Magic Kingdom because ain't no alcohol there. You got to go everywhere else for that. So yeah, but see that's the power of tiktok and i think that's what the government is actually afraid of i'm just saying and for our controversial topic of the day well i wouldn't say controversial i just got a question though um the large majority of us have facebook accounts you know some of the young ones might act like oh facebook is for old people but whatever the numbers say facebook is still the king of uh social media so kill it you use instagram you use facebook so i got a question though um there's been a rash of different things going out there on facebook man and it's a nasty habit at least i think so anyway but i got a question though so how many times are you at highlighted or at everyone on your facebook profile a day does it bother you when you get such and such has posted something that you should check out or someone at everyone or at highlighted everybody on your Facebook. Like, does it bother you that they do that? Do you think that, Oh, this is something important and you get to it and it's just something, somebody trying to sell you something. Somebody just wants you to interact with their posts because they think Facebook is going to pay them a lot of money for interactions. And look, man, I get a little change from Facebook from time to time. It ain't a lot of money. Granted, I don't have a, a million followers either, but is it something that you could do it out? Like who found out this hack? Who put this out that, oh, if you add everybody, it'll automatically notify everybody, even if you have notifications turned off sometimes. I don't know. For me, it's annoying as hell. I post a lot of stuff sometimes, but I don't never at everybody or at highlight. I don't really... If you see it, you see it. If you don't, then okay. I, I don't really care to do that because I know what, and it's not an inconvenience, but, or maybe it is. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that, bro. Is it an annoyance? Is it inconvenience? Or does it just bring more attention to whatever that person is trying to show you? And you're like, oh, I, I really needed to see that. Because most of the time, it's not something, for me, it's not something that I'm just like, oh, I needed to see that because again i don't i don't the people that i follow are people that's just not randos so it doesn't it doesn't bother me terribly but it's just something that i just think i can do without am i just being a crabby patty probably and you probably are like shut your ass up and just swipe it away <laughs> you're right i could do that but i thought i'd ask the question to make sure i ain't tripping on whether this is an annoyance or this is just like whatever social media either get on or get off right so i just want to know man make sure i ain't off my nut 
and yeah but it is a minor inconvenience to be honest for me it is so i ain't gonna ever do it so and that's probably why i'm just like all right bro enough with the at everybody or at highlight bro stop it stop it knock it off and if you are on my social media and you keep acting or high, don't do it more just because i said something about it just i'm just saying this let's i'll be if we see it we see it if we don't keep it moving all right and now time for our wacky news story of this episode man this is some crazy shit i'm just be honest with you it, it ain't so crazy because i'ma just be 100 percent transparent here my grandma used to do this back in the day man when i was little she used to do this and i ain't thinking nothing different there. and i'm pretty sure some of y'all grim yeah if they was up there in age they it was crazy all right so let me read it a museum in st louis is celebrating a local holiday by asking visitors to wear underwear on their head for a guinness world record i know don't be laughing at me because i said my grandma did this she did i love my grandma to death rest her soul but she used to wear them drawers on her head, man. And that's one of them things in the South, bro, that just was, yeah. Call me what you want to call me, whatever. But, yeah, I'm sure some of y'all folks did it, too. One, it was clean. So don't even, don't do that. This was before bonnets was a thing. Way before. I'm dating myself, obviously. But don't let the gray hair fool you. Um, the City Museum said it hopes to gather at least 314 people on 314 day a march 14th holiday celebrating the 314 area code and it wants them to wear underpants on their head for a guinness book a world records record the current record is set at 270 people uh from naperville illinois bookstore in 2012 to celebrate the release of a book of the captain underpants series which if you have kids, you've seen Captain Underpants. Yeah. So the museum also said underwear must be presumably clean. See, I told you. And will be provided uh, to participants around 1.45 um, on March 14th, which is tomorrow. If you, Yeah, or whenever this day is. Who knows? But... Officials say they only need 271 people to break the record, but they hope to have at least 314 to honor that holiday. So, bro, that's some wacky shit right there. I know, I know, but maybe I shouldn't have put my family business out there, but whatever, man. Family is family. You can call it what you want to call it, but yeah, we did that. And now these people are doing it too for a world record. This goes back to our previous podcast with me and the wife where she brought up some crazy lady riding from Jacksonville to Key West on the damn power wheel. Yep, that really happened. She's still going too. So, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, man. This is our first video podcast that will be posted on YouTube and the audio version will be everywhere else you get your podcast from. Um, I'm your boy, Money Matt, man. I am glad you stopped by to take part in this fantastical journey of weird, crazy shit that I brought up here on this podcast for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one where I have the lovely co-host in here, my wife, where we going to talk about some really controversial shit. And we might even bring that topic back up about the gift cards on the first date. I think I was right, but we'll see. I'm your boy, man. I'm going to get on out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Peace.